Good, Good morning, morning, everyone. We are super excited because we are on our way to Machu Picchu. Yes, we are. And guess what, guys? We've been here nine days, I nine think. Days. Nine days in Cusco. And that has given us the opportunity to speak to locals about the best ways to experience Machu Picchu. Now, there are a lot of things that people don't show you or tell you about the experience. And we're hoping to share that with you today. Right now, we're on our way at the door to catch the train. And it's supposed to be a very scenic ride. Let's do I this! Machu Picchu, here we come! Let's get out of here! <laughs> Oh my gosh, what's guys. up guys, hold on, go! Check this out. 
it just gets crazier and crazier. And guess what? The camera never captures it like what you really see it as. No. It's just, it's mind blowing. It sure is. Oh, and one more thing. If you take a train that makes a stop, you're allowed to get off the train to go get something to drink, something to eat. And you got a coffee and yeah. I got a hot chocolate. You have about 15, 20 minutes to play with, so, you know, no one ever says that. Alright guys, we do have some bad news and that is when we checked in downstairs, the host asked for our passports. And, and we left our passports in Cusco. I don't yes. know how, but we did. First big boo-boo ever. ever. <laughs> so you know what? On a positive mm -hmm. note, you do need it when you board the train in Cusco. They didn't ask for it. Mm -mm. And uh, we're hoping it's the same tomorrow at Machu Picchu. Our hostess say that he's going to print us a copy of our passports and most likely that would suffice. Yeah, so wish us luck. We'll In the meantime, <laughs> we're gonna explore this beautiful little town which we think everyone else bypasses and no one ever shows you. So we're gonna see if it warrants spending an extra night here. Let's go. All right. We are on our way to buy the bus tickets with a copy of our passport, so I have a good feeling about this. I'm trying to figure out what this is, a big rat or a dog? Alright, so Gladys is trying to buy bus tickets without our original passports. And uh, she's been in there for about 10 minutes, so I don't know what's going on. Let's see what happens. All right, so, so far things are looking good. I'm able to purchase a bus ticket with a copy of our passports. Yay! Kenny is outside waiting for me because we didn't bring our shield with us. I had to buy an extra in order to come inside. Um, so he's outside waiting for me. As soon as I'm done purchasing the tickets, we finally get to explore our Calientes. All right, I'm gonna go outside and continue to take care of everything with the tickets. It's a no-go. We what? need it's a no-go. We need a physical copy of our passports. Yeah, that sucks. Sorry. You're such a jerk. <laughs> You're such a jerk. We're going to Machu Picchu. <laughs> well, that's that's just one step down, one hurdle. Stop when we it. get there, we'll see. Stop it! Shut up! Be we're gonna positive. be fine. We're gonna be fine. I I know. I know. We're gonna be fine. Let's go explore. All right. You're such a jerk. <laughs> You'd be cheating yourself if you kind of just like blow past this town. So I would say come in, take the early train, get here so you have the rest of the afternoon to explore this town. It's really beautiful. It's so worth it. We found the smallest plaza here in South America and it is surrounded by the tallest, I think, mountains in the world. <laughs> Every time I look up, I get dizzy. Next, I want to show you guys the smallest cathedral here in South America. Let's go check it out. Thank you. 
it and it is so beautiful here i'm loving it you know this town is so small it's surrounded by mountains rivers and train tracks running right through it and it's just it really is gorgeous it's absolutely unique it is i would say that if i had to spend another night here i, I could would. do so without regret absolutely yeah. i am loving these streets i'm having so much fun here yeah so this is the town you come to agosca caliente it's where you come to as a stepping stone to go into machu picchu and most people come for the night like we are doing right now but you know a lot of a lot of people don't go out to explore there's so much to miss here it really is a gorgeous little town you have an abundance of restaurants like i said before the views are to die for yeah, and where else can you walk right alongside trains like we are right now oh this? i just noticed that <laughs> at Toto's restaurants, now we're here at Kutu's restaurants having a main course. This is something that Kenny and I like doing at times, just restaurant hopping and having our different courses at different restaurants. I ordered chicken burrito and Kenny ordered chicken, rice, and totones. Alright, time to chow down. After a long day of exploring Aguas Caliente, we've had it. We're beat. Yeah. <laughs> I had so much fun. We walked so much. My uh, feet are hurting. I know. It's such a small town, but small but big town. With you know? so much to do. I hope if you do come visit Machu Picchu that you stop here at least for one night in Aguas Calientes because, like I said, there's just so much more to do. It's so beautiful and the river and the shops and the train tracks, the plaza. Everything. The mountains. There's just so much to say and so much to see. That being said, we'll see you guys tomorrow because we're going to get ready for bed and we're going to get ready for a big special day tomorrow because we've been waiting for so long to check this off our bucket list. Yeah. Machu Picchu, baby, here, here we, we come. come. Sweet dreams.